Hello everybody, this is Baby Wallace and I'm coming back to you for a video about the symphony. I've actually pulled my sewing machine out of my sewing room and I'm my own camera person. So let me go ahead and begin with the basics. I'm making this video because several of you have requested for me to make a video threading the machine, turning it on, um, some of the specs. I won't go into big detail today. I'm just going to go in as far as showing you how to thread it. Okay. So forgive me. Um, I'm also going to see if you would be willing to subscribe because I cannot go live and many of you want me to go live until I get a thousand subscribers and I think I only have 336. Um, and I'm not big on, you know, following, but I can't go live until they give me a thousand or I get a thousand if you will. So let me get on with the program, okay? On the side view here, sorry. Again, I took this out of my sewing room so I can do it in my living room. Um, there's a side button here. You would press the button and turn it on, okay? Once you turn it on, you come right over here to the front. And I'm trying to get this light away from everybody. And now you see that it's turned on. There are... Sorry, I have kids and a music producing husband in the background. I'm going to remove this light because I think that it does more harm than good. So let me remove this light and we'll get it when we need it. Let's see. I'm going to grab my gadget. This should have came. It's a stylist. Should have came with your machine. Let me go and show you really quick their tabs. One tab, two, three, four, five. There are five tabs. Um, a lot of people, I'll go over this question real quick, are asking questions about this button here. What happens is you're supposed to sew. So you sew and you lock the thread. So you sew and when you push that button, it's supposed to go backwards. But it hasn't been going backwards. It'll lock it. It'll go straight up and down one, two, three, four times. And it'll lock the stitch. But I've been telling people, since I don't have time to investigate it, I just push that one, two, three, four, fifth tab. And I've been sewing with the 5-07. So that when I start sewing, it'll go sew, sew, and then I stop. And then I press the back one, and it changes directions. One, two, three, four, or whatever amount I want to go back. That's just what I've been doing, okay? Now this tab, you'll love this fifth tab because it can go diagonal either which way okay until we figure out that kink um, what else I've been doing is hitting this button see that once that is highlighted and you begin to sew your material here I took off my big arm that comes around the machine here um, but once I sew and this is on it automatically begins it goes so so lock stitch so 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 it'll still continue to sew i hope that that was understanding i'm trying to go over everything or all the questions that i've been asked so i'm going to flip my lid here on the symphony and it is already threaded okay but i'm going to unthread it um, i'm gonna follow and it's actually pretty simple only i say that only because i'm just pulling it out it's actually pretty simple. I say that because look at this. It has one, one, and then it shows you two. You go down, three, you go up, four, you go up, and then down, five. And then I'll show you how to do that here. Uh, many of you ladies that have invested in this, it's a beauty because you don't have to manually put your thread through this loop. I need glasses so I can, I can see, but I can't see that well. So the manual threader you'll love is right up here on this side. Okay, so I'm going to show you, but I'm going to try to do it where you can see it because I'm my own camera person right now, okay? So I've put my thread in. Um, let me pull it out. So you pull your thread. This is just a generic Clark & Coats that I bought from Walmart. And I kind of broke it because I was messing with it. So the thread is in the back. Do you see that? It's like toilet paper. Toilet paper you can go over or you can go under. So remember of toilet paper, it's always going under. 
So you come over here, you slide it in. Let me use my other hand, sorry. So you slide it in. Make sure that it's going under. I know I said toilet paper, but I just wanted to give y'all a picture. <laughs> so I'm going to thread it, okay? One, you go over. Okay, before I go any further, make sure, because it took me a minute to do this, to learn this. I haven't been a pro all my life. I'm just like you. I'm an amateur ever learning. So do you see this gadget? It's like, let me see if I can show you. It's like a little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little line here, okay? If you put your finger on it, you can feel it. And this line has to always, always, always match here, okay? This is the top of your machine. It must match here for everything else to work. Because if not, and you do it in number four, no matter if you're following all these numbers, it will never, it will catch and you'll have to rethread it and rethread it. And your machine is so awesome that up here on the LCD screen, it'll say um, change bobbin or change um, upper thread, upper loop thread. So that's this. So now let's follow um, the numbers. So I'm going to hold with one finger, I'm going to hold this thread. And then I'm going to try to thread it with one hand, okay, for y'all, since I'm the only camera person here today. Usually my son is kind enough to help me. So on the four, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to cock it to the left, okay? You can push that top, but it doesn't matter. As long as you cock it to the left all the way, and then you bring it down, okay? And then you bring it down. Now I'm going to hold the top of my thread. Do you see how it's coming? That doesn't matter to me. What I just want to hold it for is so that more thread won't come out of this, because then you're never going to... It's never ending and you'll just keep pulling and pulling and, and pulling thread down. So I'm gonna hold the top and I'm gonna get it six around here. Can you see that silver six now? Okay, six, you have to really get it in there. See right now it's in the front. Remember I'm the only one video recording. So let me see if I can get this myself. Where's my digit at? There it is. So I want to push it all the way. Okay, do you see where the, the thread is now? The thread is right here where the six is now. See that? It looks like a little crevice, but the thread is all right here in front of the number six, okay? And then it comes down here. Now that you have that, you slide it up through and this is seven do you see how it's over this crevice this silver crevice it's in there okay so now it's ready to go now this is the magic I love this you'll see my dogs in the background sorry so you see this button this is eight it's telling you to push it down only push it down when you see that the lever is this way now this is the magic okay I don't know if you can see that, but now it has threaded the machine for you. And I'm going to pull my loop here. I'm trying to think of all the questions you had while I'm doing this so I can cover them. Um, there you go. Now be careful that your thread, I don't know if you can see this, but be careful that your thread goes back, okay? Uh, make sure how can I put it where you don't understand it? Make sure that it's not wrapped around kind of scraggly. Make sure the thread evenly comes down and can be pulled all the way back. And you'll appreciate that when you begin to sew. What I also like to do, sorry, is um, pull this back as I place it in this gadgetry here. So this is where it's at, okay? So that is how you thread it. And then, see how it looks? Y'all play nice over there. So what I like to do is cover it with a spool. This is a big investment. This helps you when you don't have the expensive ones. This helps it not catch on the Coke and Clark that have a slit on the side of it. 
and uh, that's where that is. You see how I broke that one? Okay, well, that's the Colton Clarks. They have a line that you can, um, this thread gets stuck on it, and you'll know what I mean. So I always invest in, in these spools covers here. Now, with the Symphony that you've been blessed to buy, it also has speed. So this is very slow. This is kind of speed up a little bit, and this is super speed up. So it doesn't matter if you're quilting or making clothing or sewing face masks. This is a super fantastic machine. Um, I have just shown you how to thread it. Please come back and subscribe all. I don't really chase clout, you know. I make symphony videos and I make flourish videos because there are no videos for us out there. And you don't have to buy them. I also have a website. It's called everythingyahweh.com. And I will also put the links below. Um, I'm also publishing all my symphony videos on there and there for free. That way you have one location and you don't have to sift through all the YouTube videos trying to type out symphony. But uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Again, this just went over itty bitty bit of the questions that y'all asked and then threading. They wanted to know how to thread it. Um, that goes the same way. If you pull out the thread, you're not going to hurt it if you pull it out by just being gentle and just sliding the thread out. It comes right out if you just roll gentle with it, okay? So, I hope I was helpful. I thank you all. Again, the only reason I want you to subscribe is if I get a thousand subscribers, I can go live. Then you can ask me all the questions you want, okay? Thank you all for following and subscribing. And uh, y'all have a great day. Thank you. Love you all. We're here to learn from each other. There's too much hate in the world to be, you know, ugly with each other. So, um... Just know that I'm here to support you if you need support as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.